Today I'm going to show you how to install IE Fun, uh, which is the Chinese streaming platform, onto the Fire Stick TV. Um, if you already know what IE Fun is, you can skip to 1 minute and 40 to begin the installation process. So IE Fun is basically a um, Chinese kind of Netflix, uh, <laughs> Apple TV, um, Amazon, Hulu, like everything rolled in together, Mango, um, ITE, like all the apps that you might be used to watching TV. Um, it's all free too, um, just supported by ads. You, Of course, you can open a membership. Um, it is all in Chinese. Um, so I find this app is great for like older folks, um, but as well, like we use it every day uh, to watch TV. Um, so for example, if you want to watch like this show just click and then uh, opens right up so you want to change um, the free version only allows up to 720p uh, but then if you pay for a membership you can get 1080 and 4k as well and then you can also turn on demo um, so that's small demo or you can close up off the demo and um, so periodically, an uh, ad will come up. It's usually like somewhere in the middle. Mm, maybe it's here. Yeah, see, it's saying the ad's about to come up. Um, the ads are actually not that intrusive. It's only about like 20 seconds long. And um, it's basically the same ad. <laughs> okay, so to install our application, um, you're going to have to um, get some uh, prerequisite material first. So first of all, of course, you need your Fire Stick, uh, but then you need these two additional things. One is called the OTG cable. So you can purchase this off of Amazon for like five bucks for a two pack. I'll have an affiliate down below if you need to purchase this. Basically what this cable does is it plugs using micro USB directly into the Amazon Fire Stick. And then there's another micro USB outlet. And this will plug into um, the normal uh, wall adapter that came with the Fire Stick. So for example, it looks something like this. So you take the normal um, kind of power that the Fire Stick came with and you plug it into this part. And then it has a USB female port here. And to plug into this, you're gonna take the USB um, that is going to be preloaded with our application. Okay, so to prepare our USB stick, we are going to search up uh, Ifan APK. Um, it's the first link here. And so you can see there's a bunch of different uh, downloads available. We are going to select the one that's for TV. So we're just going to download that and click download. So this will go into your download folder. So once this, this is finished, you can just open the folder. Here it is. Uh, so this is the APK file. It is take our USB stick. So I already have one lying around. Uh, but if you don't have a USB stick lying around, I will have an affiliate link down below where you can purchase one of these. You're just going to take this and plug this into the computer. Okay. And so again, we will go into the computer. Let's open up our drive. And so this is where you can just drag and drop um, your file. You can just copy that into your USB drive. Paste. So I already have it, but uh, just replace. And that's basically it. So now your USB stick is ready to go. And we'll go on to the next step, um, which I've already shown you. And you're just going to plug this into the USB port like, that, like so. And then you plug this fire stick into the monitor. All right. So we're going to install IE Fun TV on the uh, Am Amazon Fire Stick. Um, I have the Amazon Fire Stick 4K, but the same process uh, for any other fire sticks as well. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the App Store. And first, you're going to search up for a app called Explore. So X P. So it's this first one, Explore File Manager. So click on that. This first one is the one to use, and I already installed it. Mm. But if you haven't, 
and if you can't get to this page what you have to do is go to the home page um, go to your app store sorry go to your apps apps and games and then just select your explore um, so once you have it it looks like this and you are going to go to your USB drive so this is the USB that we have previously set up and so inside this USB drive it should have your APK file so this is the IE find APK file so we're just going to click on that and it's going to allow you to install um, but um, this only happens if you have developer options enabled if you do not have this option if yours doesn't look like this you need to enable developer options and the way to enable the developer options is by going to my fire tv so you can see i already have developer options but if you don't see this here um, to become a developer you just go into about and you go to fire tv stick 4k max just keep on clicking it just keep on clicking it so once you click it eight times you'll become a developer and then you can go back so uh, we go here and go back to explore so we're in here and we're going to select the IE fan app so it's going to ask you your TV is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source so you go to settings make sure ADB debugging is on install unknown apps is on for explore and we try again so go back here install the iFind APK um, so uh, it's pretty quick open this up and this is basically it um, so you have iFind TV installed and you can control uh, this with your uh, remote control and of course um, once you're finished with this you can just unplug the USB stick because it's no longer needed but that additional port uh, will actually allow you to plug in a uh, kind of uh, Wi-Fi keyboard, uh, which I can show you next. Okay, so now that our app is installed, um, basically you can unplug this USB stick. It doesn't need this stick anymore uh, to operate. And even this OTG cable, you don't need it anymore. So if you want, you can just unplug it and plug directly this cable in, uh, which is the default Amazon kind of... Um, power cable but um, if you rather have this USB port there's a great use for it um, which is to connect an external uh, mouse and keyboard so the keyboard that I typically use is this uh, Logitech media keyboard um, and it usually comes with a Logitech kind of uh, USB um, dongle and you can just plug this dongle directly into the OTG cable and this will act as a receiver for this keyboard so this is great if um, you rather not use the voice assistant to find content um, or if you uh, find that the voice assistant is hit and miss because perhaps like your English is not your first language and sometimes uh, even for me voice assistant is not so great at finding content so this is where the keyboard comes in because you can type really quickly on the content you need to find there's even a mouse trackpad here as well there's volume keys and of course you can also surf the web if you have a large tv using this keyboard as well so if you're interested in purchasing this keyboard i'll have an amazon affiliate link down below um, so you can purchase it at no cost to you Thin costs i get some kickback from the sale of the keyboard and of course uh, the otg cable uh, kind of uh, sales link is down below as well